This is a rather abstract one of a cockerel looking backwards on the window catch. So when I learnt about that, this wasn't in the house when I bought it, but I thought it would be nice to collect as many as these as I could find. And this one was from a house in the village, which a little bit later belonged to Kate Winslet, extraordinarily. So this is the, the hall, and this is really follows the, the design of a castle in the, 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 the traditional big hall. Uh, and this, of course, as you see, has a huge fireplace. So you can imagine that you're in a small castle. I want to challenge the idea that there really is something that you might call distance out in the world, which really is there. Now, if we're going to measure a distance, we have to have a measuring rod. And so it's all right if I say that my right hand is the same length as my left hand, because I can put the two on top of each other. However, is that really saying that there really is something called length? Because all you actually see is the angle between the top of my hands and the bottom of my hands. And as I move it backwards and forwards, that changes. And also, if I move them apart, what you actually see is a change of angle against the background of the sky. And here is another one uh, that comes from a neighbouring village. I read about that in a book, so I went and asked if I could copy it. And that was what gave me the idea to collect all of them. So that's there. And this is actually where we have our discussions. We, we have a whiteboard when we need it, which we, we can hang there. And we sit in this room and have, have discussions when we're five or six of us there. We are always really within the universe, looking out from our point of view, and all we see is angles on the sky. You don't see how far it is to the stars, you just see the angles between them. That's, that's the ultimate reality. So, this is a question, I think, in fundamental physics, because Einstein's wonderful theory of general relativity, its starting point is the notion of space-time. And in space-time, the key idea is between any two points, there are either distances or times. And Einstein, when he set up the theory, somehow intuitively thought that he could introduce clocks and rods from outside the universe and measure them from within the universe. But that is a fiction, and Einstein, towards the end of his life, admitted that. But he never really did anything about it, and really I don't think anybody else has done. One has to challenge that. And you see this in the complete belief that the universe is expanding, and one can talk about that. But what does it mean to say that the universe is expanding? In reality, what is happening is shapes observed within the universe are constantly changing. That is the only ultimate reality, and we should think about describing the universe in those terms. It's about shape dynamics. The beauty of the house is exceptional, but it's all just in the proportions, the sizes of, of the windows. All of the rooms are almost exactly square, five meters square, and the only sort of little beauty, beautifications the, that they did were these, these stops at the end of the beams to make them look a little bit smoother at the ends there, and the shutters round there. That's